Hey everyone, it's Mari for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be working with the gorgeous Layering Holiday Bells die set today. And I'm also going to be using the Make It Merry paper pad. This is an eight by six paper pad. The patterns in this pad are so gorgeous. You can see all of these different gorgeous papers that are definitely Christmas holiday themed, but you could definitely use many of these papers all throughout the year. So gorgeous and so much fun for working with lots of different types of projects. I love that you can cut this paper in half and have enough paper for two A2 size cards. Absolutely stunning paper. And I wanted to do a traditional color combo for my project today. So I'm definitely going to be sticking with reds and greens. I love that the end of the paper pad has this really neutral gray pattern, tone on tone gray, really lovely. And this entire paper pad is just a must have. So I'm going to be die cutting out the layers of the bells with a couple of the different papers from that paper pad in green. I'm going to just trim these out a little bit with my scissors and then I'll go ahead and put them through my die cutting machine and then I'll layer them together as soon as I've got the other little bits die cut as well. So I've cut another piece of the layering set from red cardstock and some from a really pretty brushed gold paper as well. Now you can see here how this layer is going to layer perfectly over top of the base. I'm going to use that plaid paper for the top layer and then you can see the green, uh, the solid green with just that slight bit of pattern in it underneath. I'm going to layer the red cardstock of course over top of that for some really pretty um, red elements there to coordinate in a nice way with that green and just give us that really traditional color combination of red and green. Now inside of those uh, little dot or those openings there from the die cut I'm going to pop in some gold. So I die cut that same piece there that's red out of gold the brush gold paper and I just uh, saved the little uh, dots there to do some paper piecing inside of those little openings and then that gold piece the rest of the gold piece from that die cut I will use on my second bell. I'm just using my Marvy jewel picker here to pick up those little pieces of gold brush gold metallic paper and I'll just pop those into those little circle areas and then I'll add that little bit of the gold detail underneath. Now I'm going to use my Bitty Buzz Cutter here to die cut out the bow dies. These are also part of the layering holiday bells. These bows could be used on a ton of different projects. You would not always have to use them obviously to coordinate with the bells, but they do just work perfectly in size for the dimension of this of these bells. And so I'm just going to go ahead and layer this piece over top of the base. And that's just gonna give me a really pretty layered bow in that same red cardstock that I used on the bell. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add the little center detail. That's also a die that's included with the layering holidays bell set. Just going to use my honeybee craft pick there just to get things all into place. And I'll use my honeybee reverse tweezers here to get this all adhered together, just using my honeybee precision glue tube as well to help me get things stuck down. So I'll just get that bow in place and you could actually tie twine through the top of that bell. There's a little loop that would allow you to do that, which is fun. I did not choose to do that for this project, but you definitely could. And just to add a little bit more texture. And if you wanted to even make a tag out of this bell for a gift, you could do that as well. Now I'm going to take the little inside portion of the bell here and add that on with that layering piece and again in that brush gold and now that little bell is completely finished. So I'm going to repeat that process for a second bell. I've cut from that same green cardstock for the base and top layer of my bell. And then where the first bell was red, I'm going to be using that same brushed gold paper there for the different elements. And then for the paper piecing, I'll use the red from another bell that I cut. And I think because the first red one I cut, I um, forgot to save the little inner pieces. So I die cut it again. And now you'll just see, I'll just pick up those little inner pieces to paper piece into the gold. Love the combination of the red, the green and the gold. Again, just really super traditional Christmas or holiday. And I love that uh, as well. So super pretty. And I'm just gonna finish that up 
just getting those into place. And then again, I'll use this little piece. You could actually fit that little piece right tight to the bell. I chose to use it kind of more as a, a stripe. And so you can see that there. Now this is a die as well from my honeybee stash. This is the double stitched ovals. And I've used that on a piece of white cardstock that I hot foiled with the plaid A2 hot foil plate. I will link up to all of these different products. I'll link up to the hot foil plate, obviously the layering holiday bells and everything in the description box below. Now I'm going to use the honeybee clear embossing powder here to do some stamping for my sentiment. Um, the sentiment is from the Jingle All The Way stamp set, which is a really great coordinating set with the uh, layering holiday bells. It's just a great uh, holiday st uh, sentiment set as well. I'm just going to show you that there. Really great set and it does have a coordinating die set as well. So I have stamped out with the clear embossing ink and I've used the gold embossing powder for the sentiment. I'm just showing you here how the stamps uh, fit perfectly when you just notice that there they're organized, I should say, organized perfectly on the stamp set on the paper as with the die. So it's really easy to figure out which die to use with which stamp. So I've got that gold embossed sentiment now on my red cardstock and I'm ready to go ahead and use that on my card. I'm ready to assemble the card at this point, I believe. And so you can just see how nicely that sentiment's going to finish off the project. I am going to just start to put things together here. I'm going to layer the, the bells down onto that oval piece in this orientation here and then have that sentiment just slightly underneath. I'm not going to have a ton of dimension on this project. I think I'm just going to use a little bit of foam adhesive on the bell to the left and the other bell is just adhered down with some liquid adhesive directly onto that foiled oval. I'll just take the backer off of those different little foam bits there and I'll add a little bit of foam adhesive to the sentiment and then get that adhered down to the oval. Now this is the Kaleidoscope 3D embossing folder. I love this. It is so gorgeous. I have run that through my die cutting machine with some white cardstock and I've trimmed that down to be just slightly larger than the oval. And so I'm going to layer this behind the oval and then I'm also going to use a mat of red cardstock. So the red cardstock is cut just slightly larger than the embossed paper. And now this is going to be ready to assemble onto my card base. So this card base is a five by seven and I'm just going to go ahead and get this, these two, um, layered pieces together onto my card base just using my honeybee liquid precision glue that'll just allow me a little bit of time to wiggle the pieces around and get them into place now I'm going to use some of the make it merry gems and I'm just going to add a little red gem to the center of the bow on each of those bells to finish off my card and that's going to finish my card today friends i did go ahead and link up all of the different products that i've used today for my projects you can find those all linked down below the video thanks for watching today i hope you enjoyed i hope you were inspired love all of the make it merry collection from honeybee and you can see there's tons of room inside the card for your message for your recipient have a great day friends and i'll see you again Bye bye